well, 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 what can be so beautiful? Well, today is Sunday. It is day six after I had cataract surgery in my left eye. My right eye is still due to be done the 19th of this month. But with just the left eye, well, my first day, well, no, it's not my first day to drive. The second day after my cataract surgery, I drove up to my friend's place a couple of blocks down the street, no problem. But today, it was time to go to the uh, cigar store in Pasadena, Texas, which is four miles away on Spencer Highway in Pasadena, Texas. Oh, man, what an experience. It was so much fun. It used to be a dreaded time of the month that I hated because I'd have to watch for cars real careful. I couldn't see the street signs. When I'd come to red lights or pull up the street, I couldn't see the street signs. So what I would have to do, well, I had that memorized where that was because of land markings. Like to go to the Pasadena tobacco store, I knew on Spencer Highway that when I would uh, see the Wells Fargo sign out by the road to look for a Chinese restaurant that had a bright red roof and to turn in left just before you get there to go in the tobacco store. I had to use landmarks, you know, to get to where I was going. You know, like I'd have to use Earth Google and then look for a street I was going to, you know, and like use this magnifying glass, a powerful magnifying glass that's double lens. And uh, then I'd have to get down on the street level and I'd have to look for landmarks and write down on a piece of paper, you know, like, uh, okay, turn right where this building is, and then on the left is this building or this place, or right after this building, or right after this Red Lobster or McDonald's, uh, next slide up, turn right or left on this street. That's how I had to find places, because I couldn't read the damn street signs. Whew, God, I'll tell you what, that is exhausting. When you can't read street signs, so you have to use landmarks or a landmark and then count how many streets after the landmark or whatever. Like if you, if there's a street I had to go to, you know, like to go somewhere and there was no landmark, it was bare on each other, what I'd have to do is the first landmark count streets count streets and then get on the ground level and punch the arrow with the mouse on earth google it's like there's one street here's two streets <laughs> that's how i had to do it man to get to and bro you know and uh the tobacco store when i drove this morning every step of the way I could see in my neighborhood the names of the streets, Gilp and Rodney. I could see those for the first time. And then when I was on South Shaver and then in Pasadena, Texas, I could, like, at Red Lights, I could think, damn, I can actually see the name of the street. You know, this was so, oh my God. Uh, I can't tell you how I feel, you know, when a person for 11 years of their life, you know, they can't see street signs, so they have to look for landmarks or count the red lights. Oh my God, that is so difficult. But now to be normal again, and I can just drive along, and I can see all the street signs, all the businesses on the left and the right, so many things have been built in the last 11 years since, you know, when I had cataracts, you know, for 11 years. And uh, I could actually look, and on my vehicle I could see the speedometer, temperature gauge, oil pressure gauge, um, charging gauge, and fuel gauge. Before, I had to look at those things before I'd back out of my driveway and uh, when I'd be going somewhere, about every 
uh, three miles, I'd pull over, you know, and look at the gauges real close with my magnifying glass. Because, you know, an engine, even any, no matter how good your car is, after you drive it about three miles, if you can't see those damn gauges, man, you can be running without oil pressure or running with an engine that's overheating and not know it and ruin, you, you know, an engine. You know, uh, you know, if you're not careful. But, uh, man, you know, it's amazing. You know, I had to keep telling myself overconfidence is what causes accidents, you know. Because I felt like a speed demon. I felt wild because I had, for the first time, I had complete control for the first time. You know, I had complete control, like, I don't have to watch, uh, well, I notice cars in front of me, but I don't have to use the back of their car to gauge being in the right lane. I didn't have to do that anymore. I was free. It's like I'm free again. I'm free. I'm free, you know. Boy, the uh, feeling, you know, was amazing. Um, there, there we go. Oh, God. Distraction happening. Not, not a person or a pet animal, no, just, whoops, yeah, that's one of my cats. Uh, I keep a sheet hanging in my walkway before you get into my den. Uh, I need to put some accordion doors there. It'll stop this from being this way. Oh, God help me, God help me. I love you, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, but anyway... This is to people that, you know, do for cat watch my other two cataract videos, people. You know, because I'm not a doctor, I'm a patient. But man, I can tell you so many things you want to know, and I can tell you, uh, well, in my last video I described three myths about cataracts in the aftermath that is just not true that people believe, you know, like you have to wear glasses and eye drops a lot. That's not true. You'll have to wear glasses if you had to wear glasses before your cataracts. But, you know, after cataract surgery, if you didn't have to wear glasses before you got cataracts, you're not going to have to wear glasses after you have cataract surgery, you know, or whatever. Oh, boy. But, man, the freedom I felt. I was, uh, got in my 2002 Ford Super Crew, man, and I felt like a speed demon. It's like, man, I've got control. I've got control. I don't have to look at the white lines on the roads or count streets. I can see the street name, you know. I felt so free, you know. It's like being out of prison and released for prison. <laughs> It's amazing, and the sun, when it shines down, I don't have to block it with the visor or pull my baseball cap down to block the sunlight. I'm like, shit, I'm in control for finally, finally. But man, you know, this is a help video. It will help a lot of people, you know, and after cataract surgery, don't let that light cease to shape shadow. Uh, I forget what they call that, even though I've watched multiple videos. Of, that's normal for the fir first week up to like three months. And then that goes away. It's your brain adjusting to that foreign lens, you know. Oh, man. But, man, this is so great. It's the first time I got out and drove a distance since my cataract surgery, which was a good four miles, you know. 40 mile zones, but I could have been on the freeway and been going 70 miles an hour, and I would have been fine, because man, I can see so good now out of this left eye, wow, and that's just the left eye, imagine how it's going to be once they do the right eye, wow, 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 you know, you know, it's back to the old days, run zip around in front of cars, now when I ride my Harleys, when I had cataracts, that was a different experience, even though it was still hard to see. You know, when you're riding a Harley, you don't have the windshield, that barrier. You can
can see some things better, you know, like um, sometimes you can, I could even make out a street name. I'd have to really concentrate and focus. And plus on a Harley, your uh, peripheral vision, the down peripheral vision that's under, both sides of that motorcycle, you can see more of the ground to the right and left. So even if you weave a little inside that lane, you're still inside the lane. As to where when you're driving a four-wheel motor vehicle, you know, you weave, you're going to go outside the lane and hit a car or something or get attempted. But riding my Harleys, see, I had some give there, you know, and I could use my mirrors to see any car that's coming up or uh, through my peripheral vision, which is good even with my cataract, I could see a car on the side, you know. So it's a different um, experience driving a motor vehicle, a motorcycle. It's easier to drive a motorcycle with cataracts than it is to drive a car because the car takes up more of the line and you can't see the ground as to where on a motorcycle you can see the ground you know, on both sides. Okay, but anyway, anyway, hope you're all doing great, and Jesus Christ is my Savior. At each red light, I'd raise my hand. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Man, I feel like I was let out of a cage after 11 years. Because, see, I was like most people, you know, I didn't know how to look. I, I would go to a couple of eyeglasses, ophthalmologists. They give you the run around. They lie to you. They don't know where there's ophthalmologists that do cataract surgery. So, you know, and, uh, you know, they'll, they'll give you the wrong leads or whatever. I had to educate on this stuff from people that have actually had it done, you know. But anyway, hope you're all having a great day or a great night, whichever it may be. And I love you, Jesus Christ. And like I said, my dental work is next to be done after they do surgery on my right eye the 19th of this month. You know, to replace these stupid two teeth over here that are caught. <laughs> when I smile on here, oh God, I look, ugh. Oh my God. But anyway, bye-bye, later for now, later, later.